Hey everybody, just wanted to give y'all some quick disclaimers before getting into the episode. Uh, For whatever reason, towards the end of the episode, Martha's video from the Zoom call uh, was out of sync with the audio she was recording. I could not find a way to work around this, so that's just the way it's going to look towards the end. Also, Brianna had her dog in the room while she was on the Zoom call with us, so you'll hear some barking and other dog noises throughout. But that doesn't ruin the episode at all. Still a really fun episode to do, and I hope y'all enjoy watching or listening. Hello, everybody. (laughs) My name is Caesar. I'm Martha. And welcome back to, what is this? The 23rd episode (laughs) of Inner Wire Screen, (laughs) where... Two idiots who know nothing about movies talk about movies. So this would normally be our riddle period, but because of time, we're going to cut it. We're trashing that idea. Anyway just for the week damn so um we have a very special guest today (laughs) miss brianna this is your redemption episode (laughs) because we really screwed you over last time and we're very sorry about that yeah last time buddy we did our uh what was it lightning percy jackson why was i gonna say lightning mcqueen (laughs) <laughs> that, that would be the great no. next one to bring her on to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would be a good one. The, yeah, the video got cut from that. So, uh, but this is your redemption episode. So, do you have any words of wisdom that you would like to say as like an introduction? Um, the Percy Jackson movie sucked. They did. That yes, is yeah, that's a good summary of the. Last <laughs> that's a good summary of that yeah. whole. Yeah. yeah anyways, was, we're we're glad yeah. you're back, and we have <laughs> you back for a very special episode. Um, we haven't done a list in a very, very long time. Yeah, it's so been we thought a while. it'd be really good to do um, top ten scores and soundtracks. Whoop whoop! Very exciting. This yes. is Miss Brianna's idea. Mm-hmm. It's a great idea because she's the one bringing fresh ideas to the show because we don't know what like, to do. This is right up my alley, sort of thing. Because you, I mean, we've talked about it every time. Like adding music to a movie just completely changes it changes for me, everything and it yeah. and it and it could make or break a movie oh yeah all depending on the music and i it, mean so. literally like i was thinking to myself all the movies i had on my list like would not be the same without that music mm-hmm. or if it had different music like it's not it's not the same thing exactly i mean honestly the you'll you'll notice as i go through this list you, if you recall back to our first episode where we did our top 10 movies, there's going to be a lot of overlap oh, happening here. <laughs> me too. Me too. I because, didn't want it that, but like, mm, it's kind of like, I, a, I tried yeah. to add in some different ones. So, you know, but there are a couple that are kind of, yeah. In there. Um, Brianna, what was your thought process into like making this list together? Um, I kind of threw it together more as like scenes that whenever I hear this song, I see the scene like happening in my head. That's a good way. So yeah. that was kind of more my thought process. Um and just like scenes that the music make that scene like iconic. You know? Yeah, yeah so, for sure. Yeah. That was my thought process. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right. Well um I mean bef- I think that's I mean that's that's definitely something for me. Like if I hear a song it will like definitely take me back to a certain movie so i agree i 100 percent get that yeah well we'll definitely see that um on our list mm-hmm. but before we get to our list i like to quickly just ask um I, we like to do a thing where if you've seen any like movies or tv or anything like in the past week we can quickly like talk about like have you so mm-hmm. uh, martha mm-hmm. you look excited so i'm gonna ask brianna first um what did you see <laughs> did you watch anything this week <laughs> Uh, yeah, I actually saw Candyman. Um, and you I went saw comple- it? Yeah. I went completely by myself and nobody else was with me. Um, so, Martha, I don't know what she's so excited about. <laughs> I didn't go see anything then this week. I didn't do anything. So, um, Martha, why didn't we yeah. go? You know... No, okay, we, we did go see Candyman. This is oh, very okay. good. Okay. Very much enjoyed it. Um, yeah, that was really good. I really, really liked it. Oh, I did too when I saw it. Gory Definitely in the one of my favorites. It. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you liked so it too, Brianna? Yeah, I thought it was very spooky. The whole, like, last 30, like, 40 minutes. Oh, it was just intense. like, yeah. Like, my mouth was just clenched, like, the whole time. <laughs> so that is a sign that it's a good movie. I don't really like jump scares unless they're, like, purposefully done. 
I hate movies, which is like ninety five percent of like the scare factors just from jump scares because I feel like yeah. that's so cheap. It just, but this yeah. one, it was like I think there's only like one or two in the whole movie, and they were done like for purpose. Yeah, so I agree. I was a fan. I enjoyed it. Very <laughs> spooky. Very creepy. Yeah, chest kiss. It's wonderful. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Cool. Um, anything else y'all saw this week? Nope. That I know was y'all are me. busy girls, so. Yeah, I don't have much time, but, you know, I watched one movie. <laughs> one, I that's, think that's, that's a start, because the last couple of weeks you've been silent during this part of the show. Yeah. Um, I've been into shows, so that's part of the reason why. I mean, I've been can, getting into this one show, so. And you're not gonna... Nope. Just, I will say, it's about the mafia. It's very good. <laughs> Seinfeld? Very yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was gonna I say the friends i was gonna guess friends but yeah, it's close. a better one um oh, i only saw two so this will be quick i after we watched train to busan i decided to watch peninsula the sequel Ooh. um that was good oh but to me it, it, it just felt like i mean the action was there with, with the zombies and stuff but like none of the like heart really or anything like that made train oh, to busan like, like you- special this one kind of yeah. just felt like a like a Hollywood like, action movie. Like, it's fun, you know? But that's it. Oh. That's... Yeah. Okay. I yeah, probably will be watching I was, it I was then. a little... I mean... Yeah, I was a little underwhelmed by it, but it's not bad. It's fine. The mm-hmm. one that was bad like going, was... Huh? Oh, I was gonna say, like, going from, like, something so special as Train to Busan and then to just kind of see just it... Something just so average. Turned down. Yeah. 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 That's, definitely. That's sad. Um, the one I... The other one I saw, though, was definitely a bad one, and that's, um, He's All That... Oh, I still haven't seen that. Sorry, Addison <laughs> Ray. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I um, did see Cinderella. Uh, oh, how was that? Um, I I tried to go into it thinking like I would have really liked this movie when I was fourteen. Mm-hmm. Um, but there, pro- I was just what? there. I have so many gripes because I feel like they took like all of the fun things about having like a period piece in a movie and just threw them out the door because like the costumes weren't even good. I was like, that's, Aww. like, the main focal point of, like, having a period piece is having good costumes. Like, the cool costumes, yeah, for sure. <laughs> they didn't do that. They were just like, we're going to keep sexism uh, and, um, like, a monarchy. And they're like, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's good enough, parts. yeah. Yeah, that's, like, that's yeah. pretty much all well, we're keeping. Because the one clip I saw was on TikTok. <laughs> um, and that was, and when I saw that, I was like, I'm not watching this. Like, they use modern songs for the soundtrack. Yes. And then, like, I know which, I think I know which one you're talking about. It's gonna be about. like you're going, am I wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I did see that. And I it's completely like, turned me off from the movie. And I'm really like, scared I'll, to watch it. Me too. Maybe if we're drunk or something, I'll, I'll watch it. But it's I'm kind of not that sober. I'm a, I'm a I know that I will eventually have to watch it because I know that I'm going to watch it. I think 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 I'm going to watch I don't know. Just be so stupid one day and be like, we'll talk about it on the podcast or something. I'm going to come back and I'm going to be like, this was the best movie I've ever seen. You're going to love it. I feel like, oh, I'm going to absolutely love it. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for that. Yeah. Um, well, but real yeah, quick, but he's all that. Um, yeah, it was not good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did Everyone on the internet like hates it, hates it. I didn't hate it. Like, I thought it was bad, but. Have you ever seen the original She's All That? Years ago. Yeah. Okay. Definitely worse than I that. Will- <laughs> it's good. Okay. It's good. Yeah, I this mean, is definitely like, worse than that. I I don't like that movie, but I also like the movie, the That's original. Fair. Yeah, it's 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 like a it's a classic. It's part 90s of like nineties, yeah. Y- you know, so it's like I've watched it a couple times, so I think that's a sign that I don't hate it. Yeah, uh, but I also don't love it. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you know? I, I need to refresh on that one, but maybe when yeah. he's all that, maybe I don't either anymore. But yeah. some of the cast members from the original are in this. Oh, really? Um, the girl, the lead girl, and she's all that is like the Addison Rae's mom, and then Matthew Lillard shows up, uh-huh. but like at the very end, he's like the school Matthew principal. Matthew Lillard. Mm-hmm. Wait, Matthew Lillard was was he in the original? He was in Elsa. Yeah, he was. I forgot too. I would just remember Paul Walker and yeah. But. Paul Walker. Okay, maybe it's been <laughs> a super long time since I've last seen this Y'all movie. Didn't know, you didn't Paul know Paul Walker, Walker and Matthew in Lillard are in this movie. Yes. How have I completely forgotten that? Okay. Anyway, moving I, on. I kind of want to rewatch it now that I'm thinking. Anyway, not wait, good. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say Paul Walker was not in the second in this new one? 
No, he's because not in Paul this Walker one. Because Paul Walker is dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, like no, he... no, I'm, I'm, no. I'm saying he's in the original as well. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> like all I remember, I forgot Matthew Lillard was in the original too because I just remember Paul Walker. So that's what I gotcha. meant to say. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Things are making okay. sense. Well, well, what I do but hope I still we remember, don't remember them being in the movie for some reason. What I, I, I don't know. <laughs> what I do hope we remember is our list, <laughs> which we yes, should get onto to very list. soon. Yes. Um, to top the, ten to scores and soundtracks. So obviously, like, mm-hmm. I feel like for y'all, it's going to be majority soundtrack. I feel like mm-hmm. I'm more of a score person, but I do have soundtracks yeah. on here. Yeah, because you're um, a loser, Caesar. And I would also assume. <laughs> Is it safe for me to assume that there is a lot of musicals on y'all's lists? Actually, I tried no? to I tried to stay away from musicals per se. I think I I added a couple of them to my honorable mentions. Okay. But I tried for the most part to try and stick to like like compiled soundtracks of like <gasps> Makes sense. Songs. Got you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, let's just get on to it. So do well, y'all have Brianna? any um, oh, not like <laughs> ignore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw her shake her head. I was like, "That's our answer." <laughs> yeah. Um, not so much. Not like Broadway musicals. I don't know. I got some. I, I don't know. You'll see. We'll see. I don't right. want to give my That's list fair. away. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. Sounds good. No spoilers here. Well, we'll. No sp- we'll the there's, one time we remember no to give a spoiler warning, there's nothing to spoil to list. There's nothing to spoil. Uh, there so. we go. That shows how well we do at this. Um, yeah. Okay, anyways. Do y'all have any honorable mentions you want to get started with? Some of them that didn't quite make your list, but like you still want to shout out? I I have a very long list of honorable mentions. All right, let's spe- speed run. Let's go. So I'll sp- yeah, I'll speed run this shit. Okay, <laughs> ready. Okay. Across the Universe. Um, 13 going on 30. Mm-hmm. Selena. Oh, yeah. The Graduate. Breakfast oh, yeah. at Tiffany's, but specifically Audrey Hepburn's rendition of Moon River. Moon River, very mm-hmm. that's great. That's very good. Um, Five Hundred Days of Summer, The Cheetah Girls Two Part Two <laughs> specifically, because that one's the best one. Um, any of the High School Musicals? Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. that. <laughs> like that's obviously. fair. I, um, I forgot Coco. to write that. Yeah, I love Coco. Uh, La La Land. I it okay. was really close to being on my list. Okay. But I don't know. It was hard to like pick like I the get top it. ten. I get it. Um, in the Heights. The, okay. Because it, it is a movie now. So, um, <laughs> El Cantante. Sounds really mm, yeah. The movie. It's very good. Yeah. Um, Stuck in Love. Mm-hmm. Paper Towns. Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect didn't make it for you. It, it was almost again. It, this was really hard to like make like a top ten yeah, list, and even I get so, it. like my list is sort of like. Honestly, I'm looking at this again. I don't want. <laughs> no, you, <laughs> you know, no, no, no. It's, set, it's I'm not set 100% in stone. Sure. It's set in stone. Mm, Too late. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> Brianna, did you have any? Um, I feel like I kind of put my honorable mentions on my list, uh, so oh, I'm a little fine. bit embarrassed about. <laughs> no, it's, it's your it's your list. I don't care. You do what you you your heart yeah. says. Yeah, I feel like the the like bit is that like I have really horrible. Um, taste in like movies and i feel like this is not doing me any favors so <laughs> well well but here's the here's the case okay sometimes the soundtrack can be great but the movie itself sucks it's garbage yeah yeah it happens i actually have one down i actually my number 10 is a terrible movie it's awful okay how about we but I love the slow our roll martha Okay. It's not. Well, it's not. Let's not do that. Just, I'm just putting that out there. So <laughs> don't feel that. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, though, in all seriousness. So, uh, so you don't have any? Like everything? It's just your list. Yeah, I have. Okay. I got my list. All right. Sounds good. Um, I'll speed run through mine real quick. I didn't count how many, but I'll just name them off real quick. Um, Halloween. Like the score is just. Wait, my notes are too big. I cannot see y'all. There we go. Okay. Um, Harry Potter. The score uh, home alone <laughs> is always christmasy um tenet the star is born soundtrack um mm-hmm. batman v superman actually <laughs> spider-man american beauty black panther creed jurassic park star wars avengers barely and twilight soundtrack actually Ah. Only honorable mentions? Yes, because as much as I don't like those movies, those soundtracks are pretty damn good. <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> They're really good. Especially New Moon, like, which is what you're wearing. 
yeah i feel like i was looking at like who's on that soundtrack <laughs> i'm like all these songs are like bangers yeah absolute bangers so i, I can put it on my CD. list i should have brought it i, res- I have the cd I, I in my mean, car oh we should have live played in the background during this I that know. would have been really fitting yeah, um, if only we were in the digital age and we could do that post editing <sighs> uh, very true very true <laughs> Anyway. But, um, anyways, so y'all ready to give y'all's list? Yeah, sure. Let's, All right, so we'll just do like um, one after another. So like who, we can actually have Brianna since she's our guest. can start yes. at 10. Then we can just Go do first. 10, 10, 9, 9, 9, all that stuff. All right, so <laughs> Brianna, you can start us off. <laughs> can you hear my dog freaking out? Oh, oh that's all right. Miss Birdie. <laughs> Rath you. That's what I call the dog. You're okay. <laughs> Um, she's having a moment. It's fine. Exactly. Yeah. She's excited for you to give your list. I think that's just what yeah. Oh, she has. She has. Oh, some there we go. <laughs> she has some things to say. Yeah. She, she she's like, already don't hates me, she's your like, list. <laughs> she's like, Let me get my I'm list. Saving you from the embarrassment. <laughs> okay. Just like your list sucks. I'm gonna not do yeah. that. Sorry. Okay. All the suspense. Um. Okay. So I kind of want to put mine. Um. I don't have them in like I have like my top three, but the rest are just mm-hmm. kind of like soundtracks that I enjoy. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Um, number ten, um, Trolls, Trolls Two World Tour, <laughs> specifically World Tour, that. specifically yeah. World Tour. Um, and I want to say that really like the main reason is because Kelly Clarkson's cover of Born to Die. Um, first time I watched it, I was like choking back tears. I was like, that, that's kind of very beautiful. Um, you know. Understandable. Yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Um, and then the sound of silence in the first movie was stupid, but also like, it, it, I enjoyed it. But yeah. I think Did it that, touch you emotionally? Yeah. I mean, like with like <laughs> the, the colors of like the, the things coming out in the darkness. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. The whole scene. Loved it. Yeah, so I feel like this just isn't helping with, like, I promise I have a good taste in movies, and I'm like, Trolls, number one, I love it. (laughs) No, I I fully support this. I have seen Trolls quite a few times. I feel like you've seen it too many times, Martha. Yes, I have. Okay, but again, I have a niece who, when she gets into a movie, wants to watch it a million times. Trolls is one of those movies. So I've and I think I've been conditioned after watching it so many times to believe that I actually love that movie. <laughs> I do want to preface I have a six year old nephew. So I'm yes, not just we, like mm, trolls, mm, trolls like by myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it, keep that in mind as okay. well. <laughs> as I, um, to why we like these movies, yeah. I haven't seen World Tour. Is it better or worse than the original? Because to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of the original. I prefer the original better, but that's just me. I think I like the second one better. Okay, so maybe I'll check it out. Maybe I'll give it a shot. This one, the second one almost feels like the writers were on heavy like oh. hallucinogenic drugs going mm-hmm. into it, because it was weird. Okay. Um, but the first one was, I guess, relatively normal compared to the second, but... I thought yeah. the first one yeah. was already like a trip, so the second one's more like oh, that. Then. Okay. Strap in for that one. All yeah. right. I'll check that out. Okay. Uh, Martha, what's your 10? My 10? <laughs> Let's just get all the bad movies out of the way. Go for um, it. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Girl. <laughs> okay, honestly, um, the soundtrack of Look, that movie is probably the best part of it. The soundtrack is so good. I mean, you got like vampire weekend the mm. submarines bishop allen like these are very it's very like indie bitch vibes yeah and it's really great like you put this playlist on and while you're driving and you feel like you're in a movie and you're the main character i love it the movie itself is absolute trash it's garbage the <laughs> worst movie ever but michael Sarah, we love that's michael true Sarah here that's he's true. a friend of the podcast so <laughs> Yeah. It's just true. We've talked about him far too many Several times. times, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. You, you talking about it reminded me of a movie I forgot to leave off, and uh, now I feel like shit for leaving it off. Like, because I don't know where it places, I'm going to just say as an honorable mention real quick, I don't know how I forgot Perks Being Wallflower in this list. Oh my god, how did I forget that? Yeah, no. Just for, for sure, those, that goes just on my for, list Just too. for Come On Eileen and Heroes alone, like, that deserves to be in my list. But Absolutely. I, I yeah, mm-hmm. agree. it's in here, but I, I can't. I don't know where to put it. Okay. Yeah. Um, but my number ten is actually the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I think Ooh. the music in that is so good. Like the sense of adventure. 
That's this good. Is, that's a good one. Yeah. That's the one I've always. I mean, literally, that's like one of the most. I feel like iconic. Like, like you hear that music, you know it's from that. Like the mm-hmm. whole pirate kind of music. So ever since I was a kid, that music's always been like the one. The yeah. one. No, I get it. I get yeah. it. That makes sense. All yeah. right, that's a good good top ten, I think. Thank you. <laughs> All right, trolls. Number- <laughs> Nick Nora Park. Yeah. yeah. Very similar taste. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Brianna was here nine. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's just crying at the door. Um, my sister's here. So she's like, uh, hello, I would like to see her. <laughs> yeah, she's like, come on now. Yeah, so she's freaking out. Uh, it's all good, fine. all good. Yeah, we're okay, I think. Um, okay. Um, my number eight, or nine, I guess, uh, once again, another bad movie, Sing. <laughs> Um, okay. How did I not put that on my honorable mentions? How is that not on your list, Martha? I know, See? I know, and I was. You know what's I crazy? I um, <laughs> saw a picture of the Scarlett Johansson, the porcupine character playing guitar, and that was almost my background for this episode. But instead, I picked this, <laughs> whatever this is. Um, no, so I honestly sing um, another way, the mouse singing my way. Okay, that is iconic. We love it. So good. Mm-hmm. Um, it's even perfect. <laughs> Bernie's freaking out. Um, <laughs> oh, she's so excited that you picked Sing. Oh, come on. Yeah, she likes she likes that movie too. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's because she's she's jealous. She wants to be on the podcast too. I know. She's like, hello. So she's, I mean, we have a fourth yeah. slot available. I can get another mic. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bernie, you got something to say? You say it. I know. Everyone she's has like, a voice I'm here. Screaming it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Um, yeah, I think. Sing absolutely belongs on this list. Yeah. You also, you, I mean, you didn't mention uh, I'm Still Standing. Well, that's, I, I have I'm Still Standing by okay. the Johnny the Gorilla. Um, <laughs> he wrote it <laughs> himself. Yeah, he, yes. Uh-huh. Um, oh, yeah. I heard someone named like Elton John or something like covered no. it. Ew, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Later on. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, later. But like, it's definitely gorilla- not as creative as what the original was, but you know, no, at least he tried. no, definitely not. It's like a lot less dramatic because, like, there wasn't a gorilla breaking out of prison at the time. Right, I know. Right, like, right. it. I don't yeah. know. Personally, I like this version more. Um, yeah, no, I agree. I agree. And then Golden Slumbers, Jennifer Hudson did mm-hmm. Golden Slumbers. That I listen to that in my free time a lot. It is on my favorite songs on Spotify. It's so good. <laughs> That's going to be at your Spotify wrap to the end of the year. <laughs> yeah, no, it's oh, going to yeah, be like number sure. two. And they're like, why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I think, yeah, oh. that's a good one. I, um, are you excited for Sing 2 coming up this year? Um, you bet. I'm so excited. We are going to be, like, uh, first like, ones in the what theater. Why do I feel like all three of us are going to be there, like, opening night to watch it? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bought our tickets in <laughs> advance. <laughs> Already. Come on Even now. Even though they're not on sale yet. But when does it come out? Saying December? Yeah, we, we I know it's December. Them. December 22nd. So. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, my God. It's the day after my birthday, guys. I know what we're doing for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice showing of Sing. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> all right. So, my number nine is Baby Driver. Okay. How did I not? I I know I know we're gonna be saying all these. Like, why did we not put that on ours? Baby Driver. I used to listen to this every day in high school. Do you remember? Caesar was there. He was also. I was all the time. We were listening to it together. But like, Bell Bottoms. Why does that have to be so good? I know. You know, like perfect uh, opening. Brighton. Yeah, there's Brighton Brighton Rock. Rock. uh, Easy. Both the Commodores version. Yeah. Focus. Focus. And then the the version that his mom sings in the in the movie, like it's just oh, I love it, so good. Everything and like I've always mentioned, action movies that like work with the soundtrack or the score are just immensely better than any other action movie. They do it, they pull it off. I love it. So, I agree. Yeah, that is a really good pick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, my number nine might be a little low, honestly. Now looking at it, but it's on the mm-hmm. list. Shrek. Oh, now. Oh, why didn't I add that to my Listen, song? the <laughs> score itself is I really like because it's kind of like very fairy tale sounding, but it's the soundtrack yeah. specifically that I'm referring to. All star. All star. Come on, man. That oh, you don't gotta say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, but there's more than like there's other great songs yeah. throughout. Hallelujah at the end, beautiful. So good, monster. Oh, I yeah. Love it's that just song. it's awesome soundtrack. I've seen so many people have the vinyl for this. 
I don't know why I don't have it yet. I need that. I need it. I will find the link and wow. send it to you because this, this just come on, man. We, we need it. Yeah. It's just come over and listen to it anytime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, oh, Shrek, wow. number nine. I love that movie. I love the soundtrack. Absolutely. That's perfect. All right. That, that's a good one. Okay. Thank number you. Number eight. You. Brianna, what do you got? Um, okay, so I want to... I kind of mash these together because um, I'm just putting, like, Marvel movies as a whole because they have three, but, like, none of them are, like, strong enough to kind of stand on their own because they're okay. more, like, songs. Um, so Guardian of the Galaxy, obviously... That one's it's kind of full of bangers. I probably could have let that one stand on its own, but the other two I have in here, not quite. Um, but they got Mr. Blue Sky. Anything by Fleetwood Mac in a movie mm-hmm. just makes mm-hmm. it so much better. <laughs> like, um, Don't Stop Me Now by mm-hmm. Queen. That's another one that, like, you add that in a movie, I'm a whore for the scene. Anytime, yeah. doesn't matter what it is, I will love it. <laughs> I will eat it up, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hooked on a feeling, come and get your love. Um, yep. All just bangers. Um, I do want to say I love all of the stars from Black Panther. I think that was yeah. just a really perfect way to end the movies. Like, whenever I hear it, I think of Black Panther and I think of like the yeah. closing scenes. Um, and then I'm just a girl from by Gwen Stefani in Captain Marvel. <laughs> Captain Marvel. <laughs> That, that scene? scene? <laughs> oh my god. I forgot about that scene actually. How? How well, can you mov- I think that about movie- that scene at least twice <laughs> a day? To be fair, I liked the movie, but it kinda left my memory like right after I watched it. Well that was the only good part of the movie. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you like half a thing about the rest of the movie, but that scene, like I'll go on YouTube mm-hmm. sometimes and just type it in and watch it and be like, hmm. I love it. Cool scene. <laughs> yes, it's so good. Oh, and again, another one where it's like you add that music to the action sequence, action. and it just makes yeah. it all the more better. Like it's just oh, it's incredible. That's like your that's Absolutely. like your sweet spot, Martha, right there with the, that when the action. Is, yes, I mean I agree too, is. but like yeah. you really like. That's the, your thing. That is my number one thing. Otherwise, an action movie. What are you even doing if there's no music going on in the background? Come on. Well, no. did Trinity Poisson have anything like that? Should have. That would have. I didn't. I, no, nothing like that. I mean, I'm sure that there was a score at some point to the background, yeah. but I, I wasn't really paying attention to that. I was more focused on them on trying everything. to kill the zombies. So <laughs> That was more important. You're right. You're right. Yeah, um, you know. Hold on. There's zombies. I haven't seen Train, train to Busan. Train to Busan. I have not seen it yet. I did not know it was a zombie movie. It is very much yeah, a zombie movie. it is. It's I'll tell you all about yeah. the zombie outbreak in South yeah. Korea. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, the whole thing is about the zombies. Um, what did you think? It was just people riding a train? A train? Yeah, I thought it was like a murder, a murder mystery. You thought it was murder <laughs> on the There's Express. definitely murder. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was something like that. I don't know. I heard oh, it's really fair. good. And um, Martha was like raving about it. But oh, yeah. yeah definitely it. check it out. Highly recommend. And if y'all haven't seen our episode yet, we'll watch the movie first, Brianna. And then check out well, our that's episode. Just, I was like, <laughs> I want to watch the episode, but I, I should probably watch the movie first. So. Yeah. I would yeah, recommend, definitely that. recommend um, that. I was gonna Absolutely. say though, I did mention Black Panther. My album mentions. I only thought about the score, but I completely forget about the soundtrack. The whole soundtrack is because mm-hmm. Kendrick Lamar mm-hmm. like was basically in charge of like putting yeah. the whole thing together. Yeah, it was so good. But yeah, yeah. that was really good. All, All right. right, my um, number eight. Go ahead. What women want? This is one of my dad's favorite movies and also one of his favorite soundtracks so because of that i grew up listening to the soundtrack that that mel gibson all the time yes that mel gibson movie i saw what men (laughs) want the (laughs) remake oh yeah no don't don't ever watch that um what woman (laughs) want is slightly better i i mean if i were to choose between the two obviously that one the original is much better i wouldn't say it's the best movie ever but you know um it has it has some issues not gonna lie but I love the soundtrack from it. I mean, you have some like iconic classic singers. You have Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, Sammy Davis Jr., Christina Aguilera. <laughs> Damn, I'm missing out. I haven't seen that either. You know, and I have to say, there is a song from my youth that represented me that I listen to every day every goddamn day and i would make my parents play it in the car over and over and over again and that song is bitch by meredith brooks and here i was a little a little six-year-old singing i'm a bitch like over and over again and my parents were like uh she'll turn out fine <laughs> and then and i turned out the way I did. yeah so you know 
Uh, but yeah, what, what women want, it's it's great. I love okay, it. Okay, I'll check that. I'll check that out. Hopefully, yeah, it's better than what men want. I think that's a lesson that we should just stop these gender swap remakes like this. And he's all that. Just, can we just? They're they're never good. They're no. They weren't that great the first time around. Like the original wasn't like some masterpiece in the beginning. So like why? Really, yeah. <laughs> so come on now. <laughs> like, learn. Yeah. Learn from your mistakes, Hollywood. Right. Come on. Um. My number eight is actually one that you already mentioned, Martha, and that's Baby Driver. Mm. So it's also on my list, a little higher. Like you're saying, like we both like listen to a lot of yeah. the soundtrack, um, a lot in high school. I remember seeing like in the theater like opening night and like just being like literally from the opening scene, it's like bell bottoms and the way it's like synced to the action. It's, it's, it's just pulled in. And like, I mean, basically it's kind of like the soundtrack is really like the backing track to like the whole movie. Like mm-hmm. really every, so- even the scenes that don't have action are like, still edited with the music so yeah. the music's just a huge part of what that movie i mean without the music that's not the movie so and the songs yeah, are the, so good like you were saying message just everything about it yeah. it's just everything oh, it's so good yeah so so good so that is um yeah number that eight. might be the, i feel like that might be the only movie that's on both of our lists we'll see but it's yeah, my number eight. maybe i don't know <laughs> all right number seven brianna um i have tarzan oh this soundtrack. Oof. So, so Collins, good. that man. Oh, I'm I <laughs> <laughs> Get it. Yes, sir. <laughs> but I think that soundtrack's just so good. I think my top three, Strangers Like Me, Son of Man, and obviously You'll Be In My Heart. Those are songs like, I don't know, I would sing that to Will, my nephew, when he was like a Aww. baby. So I have like a, like a connection to it because um will's parents too both got eaten by jaguars in the forest and then will was raised by apes for the first like four years of his life okay yeah Um, that's a relatable story coming of age Mm -hmm. yeah for him so yeah it makes me think of him a lot so (laughs) (laughs) um i will say you reminded me of another uh phil collins movie like was not his movie but like another one that has his soundtrack that's a banger his brother bear Ooh. Not on my list or anything, but now that. that you said it, reminded me of that, so I just want to shout that, that was out. A but good one. Put Phil Collins on a movie. Disney movie. Any Disney. Oh, it just. Fire. Fire. Yeah. Fire. But Tarzan's <laughs> a great <laughs> choice. Oh, I, I need it. to rewatch Tarzan. Yes. For sure. I know. I need to watch Brother Bear again. It's been too long, and I loved that you movie. Know, me yeah. too. Me too. Yeah. All right. All right. Number seven. Mom. My number seven is one that Brianna already mentioned Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. That oh, I love it. I have that one on, on vinyl. Um, both it, it was like the double one where it was like the soundtrack and the score. Um, so oh, I would cool, say cool. I've listened to the score enough times to where it's like it's like permanently in my head, and I just love it so much. Yeah, because I have it on vinyl, and it's so I I love this goes like it's a twofer, you know, both the soundtrack and the the score. Okay, but. I mean, it's just iconic. This is, I, I, my last one was my dad's favorite movie. This is my mom's favorite movie in terms of like Marvel movies. And the only yeah, yeah. reason she watches it is because of the soundtrack, which I don't blame her. I mean, yeah. I love it for the soundtrack too. I mean, I love it for other reasons because it's uh, The soundtrack is definitely a huge reason. Yeah. But it's a big part of it. I, I love the music from that. I mean, just, uh, yes. Movie yeah. Daydream on there too. I love it. it it's just, and it, it go, it's overlooked because there's a lot of other great songs, but. I will always pick out the David Bowie in any soundtrack because yeah. it's David Bowie. So. How do you feel but about yeah. the um, Volume 2 soundtrack? I like it. I prefer the first one. And I think it's because I I prefer 70s more so than 80s. And I think you start seeing that transition from 70s to 80s between the two. I enjoy 80s music, but 70s is more yeah. my style. Okay. So. That makes me wonder if for Volume 3, which I... They announced release date for it. I don't remember when it's coming yeah. out. But I wonder if that's going to be more 90s since it's kind of like we're moving on. Maybe. Decade, I hope decade. so. That'd, That'd be, be cool. I'm excited to see yeah. what he, James Gunn would do. Um, my number seven is Phantom Thread. Ooh, that the was score a good score. in this. Dude, literally for like a whole year, this was like my sleep. Like, it's the most relaxing. Like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. But basically, the whole movie is just like about Dan Day Lewis's a uh, fashion designer. And so it's very much music of kind of that world, like mm-hmm. kind of classical in the sense, but just. It, I would just like to say something. The yeah. fact that you you say the name and I the, the score immediately comes to mind. Yeah. And I haven't seen that movie in a very long time. But the score sticks out that much because it's yeah. so good. 
I yeah, 100% agree. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. Um, so yeah, good. I thought it was great. So that's Phantom mm-hmm. Thread. Have y'all not seen that? It's like a really, it's like, it's, I mean, it's a romance, but it goes in some pretty dark directions. It's, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot, <laughs> yeah. but it's good. Yeah. It's a really good movie. It is good, though. I do, I do like that one. Have you ever seen a Brianna? No, uh, my brain isn't big enough to hold anything bigger than Tarzan. It's <laughs> oh. like, <laughs> that's, that's like the most sophisticated um, media I can watch it's right now. It's pretty sophisticated, <laughs> yeah. so, so I don't I don't blame you at all. Yeah. Um, I was going to say real quick, um, this was composed by Johnny Greenwood, who is one of the members of Radiohead. So wow. he's done. He's definitely done a lot of scores. Oh. I did not know that. He has like quite a few a creep. this year. <laughs> oh. And a weirdo. <laughs> Why yep. for a second I was like, really? Like, I haven't read about that. <laughs> <laughs> Took you a little too long, Caesar. Um, and then real quick, I will say the pirate score was a Hans Zimmer score. And I, that dude okay. is on my list I a didn't, lot. I did not. I, I do have oh, a couple have scores to. that I, I want to talk about yeah. after I'm done with my top ten list. Well, just like two that okay. like stick out to me the most, I think. I just, wanted to, I just wanted to shout out the names real quick. Because yeah. they're part of what makes it all come together. It's true. I agree. So, Brianna, number six. My number... No- Oh, I, I made my I numbered my list wrong. Uh, so yeah, I was good. like seven, <laughs> um, seven, and now number one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have. I know that this is a movie show, um, but I put Euphoria. Oh. Because um, you know what? I, I give you, I give you a pass for that. Yeah. That's, I think it's just so good. I think that like every song in there is just like it fits so perfectly with what's going mm-hmm. on. Um, Sorry, close the notes on my phone. Um, especially all for us, like the ending scene of yes. season one. I cannot stress enough how good it is. Mm-hmm. But I don't know, just every song, like every scene has like just such good music behind it. Um, so many different kinds of music too, like yes. so many different genres. Because I can go through and I can be like, I am at the lowest of lows mm-hmm. and the Euphoria's soundtrack is there for me. I, you know, I do my hair, I do my makeup, I put on a good outfit. Euphoria is there for me. <laughs> I just like yeah. everything. So yeah, it really covers so all good. the bases. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think that's a really good one. And yeah, I, I know, you, I know you're saying like, I know we don't talk about TV, but we definitely like, I definitely want to explore like TV eventually on this. Ooh. Like honestly, yeah. before season two Euphoria comes out, I think we should talk about season one. And we'll we'll do a branch off of our podcast in a smaller screen. In a smaller screen, you'll do. <laughs> um, have y'all seen like the specials they put out uh, like over Christmas? I still haven't seen that. They're honest, arguably the two best episodes of the show. I'm sure. They're so good. I couldn't finish Jules because I was not in a good enough place. Yeah, the Jules <laughs> so one is rough fair. to get. I mean, they're both honestly rough to get through. That Jules one is like so deeply personal. That's like mm. it's it's cra- it's like you're literally like watching her mind it's, it's crazy but okay i got i feel i need to get on it like go hurry up and watch it because you keep telling me about it like you're like you need to watch it you need to watch it yeah and i still haven't done it because I, I loved the show i thought the show was really good yeah so i mean they're basically just kind of like two i mean they're just like two episodes like they're like just same yeah. length or anything um my favorite episode though, i will say is the one they're at the um why isn't the war not coming to me the Incredible. carnival like yeah. Um, and she's yeah. like, you don't like me because I'm dressed like a whore? Or because I'm just like a hooker? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. She's iconic. Iconic. Okay. Martha, right. number six. My number six. <gasps> I'm excited to talk about this one. Lemonade Mouth. <laughs> yes. It had to be on the list. It has I mean, to be. Because, yeah, like, yeah, it's sure. just, it, I, these songs will never not be a bop. I'm sorry. You put this on, and I will sing along to every single word. It is so good. I mean, you have songs like Determinate. All right? I even know the rap to that one. Okay? That's how you know it's good. Please don't do it for us. <laughs> I mean, I mean no, don't ask it if I have to. <laughs> no, no, please. <laughs> No, I, and then like even like their bonus track on it, the "Living on a High Wire" is such a bop, but it's so underrated, and like everyone needs to immediately go and listen to it. So, it's just the best. Yes. So, compared to the other Disney Channel movie, like this goes is the soundtrack above High School Musical for you? I okay. So, but here's the thing: I hold them in different regards. I believe. I think. I think as like standalone music, they have like like it's really good 
songs. Like, they're really good songs. Yeah. In terms of, like, a movie musical, High School Musical is iconic. They have great songs, but they're, to me, they're two different types I get of it. music. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah, different vibes is what I'm okay. is what I'm getting from it because it's like more musical. This one's more like actual songs. And the, I feel like the vibe of this connects to you a little more personally than like High School Musical does, even though those are yeah. Well, at least yeah, one or two. I, too, I don't really like three. I too but. was in a band in high school, and all of us had our own issues. And I'm and my parents are lawyer. You know what were they? Scientists. I don't know. You, I, I, don't don't remember. Remember. <laughs> I don't remember what Stella's parents were. <laughs> Why didn't we like, try to do that in BTV instead of like the work we were supposed to be doing? The work you were supposed to be doing? Yeah. That was... Psh, come on, guys. We weren't doing we anything anyway. We should have just tried to start a band. We might as well have <laughs> just recreated <laughs> Lemonade Mountain. Um, okay. So that was six yeah. for you? Yes. Number six. Okay. My number six is Interstellar. Ooh. Ooh. That music is like heaven in my ears. Like mm-hmm. the like this i i've realized like i have another actually space movie like on this list like space movies for whatever reason for me like the sound of those they have the best it's just so cool like and that's a Hans zimmer again and it's just like yeah oh, man. It, the man man's just man. just like ugh. i mean he worked on frozen too right Cause, Did he? like that's how you know he's good yeah, I'm pretty sure he was in Frozen. I know he, he worked, worked on, on the Frozen Boss soundtrack. Baby so, one and two. <laughs> but and he really Frozen. Yeah, he did. Oh, so he, that's how you know he's He big. actually did not work on Frozen 2. He didn't? Well, no. What am I thinking of? Maybe I'm... Oh, because the character's name is Hans. Hans. <laughs> <Frozen. laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. And is a great soundtrack and a great movie. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can I only watch that movie once. Because it's just a lot to take. <laughs> it definitely is. Yeah. But the soundtrack is great. The, the score. I feel like the it's just great. The emotions of the soundtrack. Like, I mean, honestly, a lot of it's just like yeah. emotion for me, and it's just, yeah. I get great. it. Yeah, that makes sense. That's okay, anything great. you put a ticking sound in, so good. Like that one. Oh, I've never. Yeah. I still haven't seen Dunkirk, even though it stars Harry Styles. It. Yeah. yeah. Um, How have you not? But I know that one good song with, with the. With the I watched click. that movie on a plane mm. what an experience that was <laughs> what well, i feel like that was better i saw it in the theater i feel like you seeing on a plane was probably more immersive it you definitely know. was because it was a plane with turbulence so like <laughs> you feel like you were right there with harry thing. i was like oh my god oh my god because <laughs> like they would like be like all shaking and then we would shake and i'm like oh, i don't know what's happening <laughs> i don't know what's real <laughs> you're right in the war that's beautiful i was, I was in the war so <laughs> nice you know um Brianna, please save us and move on to your number five. <laughs> okay, um, my number five, The Fault in Our Stars. Ooh, okay. Oh, I know. Oh, you put Paper Towns in your honorable mentions. Yeah, that's uh, close. Yeah, The Fault in Our Stars, again, it's just another one that, like, whenever I hear the soundtrack, I get, like, both happy because, like, I was 14, like, 13, 14 when the movie came out. Um, and also, like, horribly, like, ill because I was 13 or 14 when the movie came out. <laughs> um, but, like, all the songs, <laughs> Book Clap, my favorite. Um, my phone auto corrected it. But, like, Boom Clap, Bop. Yeah. Simple as this, Bop. Long Way Down, Bop. All I mm. Want. Like, that's still one of my favorite songs ever. I yeah. just think the soundtrack really captures, like, everything about like 2013 2014 like wrapped up into a movie like right yeah. there mm-hmm. so i had yeah. to put that up a little high because That's i love fair. it so much no i definitely that's, that honestly deserves one of my honorable mentions because like I, I i love the soundtrack to that movie i think it was because it was just it was the timing of it mm-hmm. and that just like makes it all the better so yeah, yeah. i, I haven't so seen that in a really long time but i will say i remember even feeling emotional by the end of it that is a, is a good movie oh yeah that yeah shit's gonna make you cry every time mm-hmm. and i i remember okay. when okay. i read the book i was crying <laughs> in the middle of a restaurant <laughs> Of course you were. <laughs> it was not. It was not a fun time. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, my number five. <laughs> um, my number five is Goodwill Hunting. Mm. Elliot okay. Smith. Yeah. What more do I have to say? That it's just he. He is on the entire soundtrack. He does all of his songs around there. It's just. It it makes it takes like the movie itself is already great. 
add Elliot Smith's just like raw emotional music and it takes it to an entirely other level like it's just it's so good his music like what he's able to what he was able to convey with his music and like his guitar and it's every oh so yeah good. it's just amazing incredible love it I agree mm-hmm. Brianna have you seen I, it I, nope <laughs> she's like she but, I've seen like, <laughs> but I've seen Tarzan <laughs> and I've seen Charles World Tour yeah. <laughs> um, I just thought of like a few quick honorable mentions for when you brought that up for some reason even though they have nothing to do with Elliot Smith I thought of three Pixar movies that I wanted to mention Finding Nemo Up and Inside Out have all great scores too yeah, like, those are good ones too um yeah, I don't know why I randomly thought of those, but I wanted yeah. to show. Oh, Love Simon too. Now that you say that, and okay, call me by your I'm, name. Um, Nick and Nora, you're out. Never mind. <laughs> I'm Love Simon is in. How could I have forgotten that movie? Love Simon <laughs> is literally the best, and that needs to be on my top ten list. So, bye, Nick and Nora. You're not that great. <laughs> and then, call me by your name. Also, I forgot to mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's that's, that's oh. Martha's like number. I'm gonna say number one or two. Three, four, five. How about my number five, which is <laughs> yeah. um, another space movie, First Man. I don't know if y'all have seen this. It's that um, Neil Armstrong movie with Ryan Gosling. Um, I never saw that one. It's I've really only good. seen Tarzan. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, we've only seen but Tarzan, just like, so. Um, I mean, the score, it doesn't really sound like Interstellar, but it also has like that space kind of travel score to it. But it's okay. also like, the movie's definitely like, very personal about Neil Armstrong's life so you get a lot of I feel like emotion out of the score too especially Mm -hmm. with some moments with his family and daughter and stuff so I feel like the score did a good job with that yeah but another like score that like just emotional ones and like these are the ones I always play like when I'm like going to sleep or like need to feel something Mm -hmm. you know so that's that's it that's the number five one alright yeah alright number four Brianna Okay. Um, I have Twilight as my number four. Okay. Now, because, wow, go. Yes. She's talking about the first one. Okay. Yeah, I was going to ask you, is this the first movie yeah. or the whole saga? Okay. Yeah, no. I, I'm separated them by movies. So okay, I think okay. Twilight, I think the songs, like, the saga as a whole has a really, really good soundtrack. I had to put Twilight at four uh, because I got to save my top three. Um, but again, oh, like no. super massive black hole, eyes on fire, Bella's lullaby. Like whenever you hear these songs, like Bella's you can close lullaby. your eyes. Yeah, like you can yes. see exactly what's happening. I think the soundtrack and the score, both this, of them, yeah, so good. I love They're them. So good. The score is so good that if you played any song off the score, I could tell you the name of the song. <laughs> And they all yeah. sound practically the same. Yes. But I've listened to it enough times to where it's like I can recognize them just like after like a couple notes of it. Like it's it's that good. <laughs> the score is yeah. so good. But the soundtrack on top of that is amazing. So definitely agree. Yeah. Thanks. Good one. Good one. I agree. All right. My number four <laughs> is actually Call Me By Your Name. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I'm glad thanks I for ruining that. that, Caesar. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is so this is both again soundtrack and score. Yes, both incredible. I mean, Suvion Stevens, come fight me, please, because like <laughs> I'm <begging>. why? <laughs> I'm begging you to fight me because like why? Why? Why do you have to make things so emotional with your damn songs? Like Visions of Gideon, like this uh, Mystery of Love. Mystery of Love, everything. It's so yeah. good, but like again, the, even the score of it is really good it's like a lot of like upbeat but it's also like really depressing songs and it just like it shows just like every emotion that he's feeling in the movie and you get that from the score and it's just mm, i love it so good definitely um also i was gonna ask if y'all heard of a movie called waves if it's not tarzan i don't know it no okay (laughs) well that's another one that just i randomly thought about like the soundtrack has like kanye and like kid cuddy like tame impala like a lot of really good i've never even heard of that's that honorable mention that's like it's a good uh who's in it i don't know who's in the movie i can't remember but it's a good one <laughs> it's a good one but okay the soundtrack anyway is good, so. number four for me is mad max fury road 
which I don't know if you remember was number one on my top ten movies list, but it's a little lower on yeah. this. The movie's just full of action from like start to finish and like the score like just is perfect for the craziness that's happening. Like dude, there's literally mm -hmm. Uh, like this big vehicle and on the back is all these giant speakers and this guy without a face playing like electric guitar with fire coming out of it and the score just sounds as crazy as that oh I'm intrigued <laughs> yeah so definitely like I love like that that all perfect. right perfect for that that's when I saw awesome. in the theater like I was already kind of overwhelmed with all the craziness I was seeing visually mm -hmm. but then the sound on top I was like, bro it's over perfect all yeah. right all right I could have I don't just look at that scene itself because that yes, sounds yes it's crazy really awesome. but yeah Badass. all right go on all right number three brianna all right my number three lion king Ooh, i like think i don't mention just, at it come on yeah <laughs> <laughs> i think just song after song mm -hmm. like i think lion king is kind of like tied with little mermaid about like my favorite disney movie um, I think it's just so good. Um, the Broadway version, too. I saw it on... Well, I saw it with the Majestic, so it was, like, not on oh. Broadway. But, Pretty like, cool. that Pretty version is just so good. But I just mean, like, everything. And have you ever, like, just, like, close your eyes and listen to Circle of Life? Like, it's... I don't it's, think it's I have. I should. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, you listen to it in the movie and you're like, yeah, Circle of Life. But then, like, if you've ever just, or just, like, just turned the volume all the way up in your car and just, like, sat and listened, it's, like, a, another experience that just brought it, that's what brought it up to, like, my top three because it's just, mm. it's so good. I will, I will try that out because that sounds like something I need to go through. Can like a spiritual you awakening. Feel yeah. The love? That's, right. yeah. Again, that's everything. Yeah, you're gonna cry. You're gonna call me, and I would be like, Rihanna, like, <laughs> whoa. Or you're gonna be like, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> like, unable to like speak to you and just sobbing. Yeah, yeah, that's not so right. All right, I can't wait for well, that. That'll the be same fun. way though that we were saying how you add Phil Collins to the Disney soundtrack and it's like elite. Mm -hmm. Same thing for Elton John. Elton John, <laughs> man, oh, that man. That's, yeah. I literally did not know that was him until last night. Oh, oh <laughs> you know? it up, and I was like that. That's Johnny the Gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, I guess in sure, a way, sure. sure yeah. Sure. <laughs> um. Yeah. So that's a yeah. That's a really good one. All right. Well, my number three. Begin again. Oh. We just talked about this and we movie. We did talk about this movie. Not so long ago. I expressed my love for it. My deep deep adoration for this movie and its music lost stars i will never stop talking about this song it is so good yeah. i i listen to i i like make it a point to listen to the soundtrack at least once a month at the very least because i just i love it so much like, like their songs are just so like they're so emotional like a step you can't take back like a fool lost stars it's just they're they're so good it's so, yeah. so good i just i love i love the movie i love the music it's incredible so. definitely agree with that yeah so uh brianna have you seen it begin again yeah yeah uh is that with my cyrus N no Not no quite. okay <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait hold on is that the one where um his parents get killed by jaguars and he gets raised by um, monkeys yeah gorillas that's the one. sorry <laughs> I think that yeah. was Paper Tones. And then the Gorillas to Gapes from Prison. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. yeah. Okay, I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was, a, I think that was the, the Greatest Showman. I thought that was the Greatest Showman. No, that's, so, yeah. No, that's the Greatest Showman life. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, well, if you haven't seen Begin Again or episode on it, we did do an episode. Check that out. Yeah, definitely check that out. That's, I, I raved about it. Uh, yeah. Real quick, I don't know. I know I sent the tweet to Martha, but I don't know if I sent it to you, Caesar, where it's like, you will be so surprised by how many movies I've not seen. <laughs> no, like, yeah. I just feel like like ninety five percent of the movies y'all talk about, like I want to be supportive and I want to watch y'all's podcast, but so many of the movies I've never seen. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm just gonna go like the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for at least a like. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate if you that. Want, you can send us the ones you have seen, and that way we can be more Tarzan? inclusive on our podcast. Okay. <laughs> And Twilight, but if y'all did not put in the Twilight episode, I know where y'all live, oh, and I will no. bring your houses down. Trust me, okay. we whenever we do our Twilight episode, we're definitely gonna make that big. It's gonna be a big one. Um, all right, my number three is Inception. Um, <laughs> Never seen it. Oh, man. <laughs> that one's just another kind of one where it's like a lot of the crazy things happening, but also just a lot of emotion. And I feel like the score just mm -hmm. also 
does a lot to accompany that. It's also, I mean, Interstellar and this are both Christopher Nolan movies and Dunkirk too, like you were saying. So you definitely like, yeah. I feel like the score is just a huge part of why those work. Um, but that especially, there's this song at the end called Time that he does, and it's like the perfect, like, a, ugh, so good. I remember actually, we were, Brown and Weir and I were at BPA, at, was it Dallas? I don't remember. They were like randomly playing it over the speakers. <laughs> it was such I don't a know random why. song. Oh, I remember they that. Play? Just, a right. random, just, just a random oh, memory. <laughs> and yeah, that guy like, went up and he sang Wind Beneath My Wings. He just went up and was like, my teacher told me I should sing this. And he's like, did you ever know? Did oh, you? He was, and I was like, um, I do love that song. It is strange. Best that sounds like life. such a such an experience. <laughs> I, man, I should have gone. I'm sorry. Sorry just, I missed it. Yeah. yeah. No. No, I think you're a healthier person so. because you didn't go. <laughs> like, I literally had a mental breakdown that yeah. weekend, so... Yeah, I think Caesar lost a part of us, our soul. Yeah, yeah. but downtown Dallas was. District. But you know what? I had a great yeah. time just sending you guys off on the bus. Bye, guys. I'll see you later. I'll see you as changed people. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What a time. <laughs> All right, that's a good yeah. one, Caesar. Yeah, Inception. The, the score is, is very good. Thank from you. That one from from what I recall of the score, it is it's it's very intense, and I think it definitely adds like another layer to the movie. Because the movie itself is already like, <laughs> okay. So adding that definitely makes a yeah. difference. So yeah, good one. All right, definitely. number Thank two, you. Brianna. Okay. Also, I have a few honorable mm-hmm. mentions now that I've thought of. Can I do my number two, then my honorable yes, ma'am. mentions? You are running and this podcast. This is all you. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, y'all get off then. This is me now. <laughs> <laughs> this is just my show. <laughs> Talking about movies I have not seen. <laughs> I think Dunkirk's about well, a plane all... now. Yeah, so I know that. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. It's part of it. It's like a third of the movie. Sure. Um, okay, sorry. Mm. So my number two, Paper Towns. Yeah. Um, that was on your honorable mentions. I put that as my number two, again, just because, like, I read the book and, like, I thought it was just so good. That was when I was, like, in the phase where, like, I would highlight parts in my book, and I wrote down, like, all my favorite quotes, and I probably had, like, two or three notebook pages filled of my favorite quotes of Paper Towns, um, and I always was, like, I just really want a friend group that we can, like, drive across the country in a van and, like, have that I'm kind sorry, of friendship. I'm sorry, I got rid of my van. Um, and that's just something I always... I'll go get <laughs> it back, I'm sorry. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just for this, and then you can go return it. Yeah, then right. after that, I don't care what happens to it. But, like, <laughs> I don't know. I just loved the movie. And then I think the soundtrack is so good. And I, I wrote down, like, my favorite songs on the soundtrack. And then I ended <laughs> up just kind of writing down all of them. Um, oh. <laughs> because I was like, there's, like, two on there that I'm like, Meh. But, like, every other song. Um, they also have Look Outside by Nat and Alex My boys. My boys. Which, like, again, just so good. Um but lost it to trying that's like my number one that's again another one that like is one of my favorite songs every time you turn it on i like transport to another universe myself to another dimension yeah Yeah, caesar you don't get it (laughs) (laughs) i yeah i completely missed that (laughs) that's a a movie (laughs) (laughs) a short Um. film (laughs) it's a short film it's a short film yes yeah (laughs) but yeah so i think paper towns i think again it's more about like the emotions that it makes me feel than it is about like how Mm -hmm. i mean it is not like a top it's not like critically acclaimed or anything but like in my brain it's like it's so good um and i love it and it's one of my favorite soundtracks on anything it's incredible so yeah that's just kind of how it works why Naked I Brothers Band that. soundtrack you know is a number one? I forgot one to write that down. I was totally going to put the Naked Brothers Band movie on my honorable mentions list. So, uh, yeah. it does count. It's, it's, it does it's, count. It's a movie. Um, I I've never seen Paper Tones. I will get on that. But oh it's my okay, god! You're Brianna so has, like, yeah, wow, I know. to be on a podcast about movies. <laughs> I know. It's just like <laughs> I should have just. Sounds Wait, what? It's okay because I can't This is going to be a lot of like I'm inside thinking, jokes about paper. Thinking. We have too many jokes about paper towns, I guess. It was it was a phase. Again, I it was, was a phase. time for us. 
It was a cultural reset it was a cultural in our reset. lives. <laughs> so, and you were not there. <laughs> and you should have been. So yeah. please get on it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I think... In all yes, seriousness, do either of you have this on DVD? <laughs> Yeah, oh, okay. no, I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will come borrow that. <laughs> I think when Paper Towns came out was the last time I was like, like it was a time way up here, you know. Okay. So the I only way to get yourself watch. back Let's up there is movie night where we watch Paper Towns. Yeah. <laughs> is <laughs> that sounds good? <laughs> I think the, uh, Anyway, my number two. <laughs> I think the only way. Well, I will say real quick. I think the only way that you'll get to that high again, Brianna, is for when Paper Towns two comes out. That's that wasn't like, even a thing. No, sir. That's no, not a thing. But if it ever <laughs> okay, was, was a thing. Saying, <laughs> yeah, well, we're not gonna, I'm, I'm we, not we, well. can't, we can't handle that. No. <laughs> it's not, not something we well. can go through again. So let's let's never do that. Thank you very much. John Green. Mr. John Green, Got please. It. God, do not. For the love of God, do not. Do not <laughs> do it. you. But also, like, like, like see it. do it. Like, please. Like, I'm begging <laughs> yeah. you. Right. Um... <laughs> Can be Rock Towns and then Scissor Towns. Scissor t- Think about that. Th- yeah, no, but like think rock, about paper, it. Scissors. Think about it and then never yeah. do it again. Okay. Moving on. Number two for me Number two, is Martha. New Moon. So sorry, Brianna, I'm kind of jumped you there because I'm sure it's going to be higher up on your list. But um, it's just, I, I again, I have the CD in my car and it's always there. To, like it's already in ready to go anytime i get in my car so i just like if, I, if i'm like ready for the vibes play and it's vibes overload it's it's that's true but when are you but, not because, ready for like, the vibes oh, especially on rainy days rainy days and i'm driving that cd oh yeah possibility roslyn i just all of those songs are just so good and they just they just put you through so many emotions and i just i can't Sister Rosetta. That's another good one. Oh, so good. Shooting the Moon. Oh my god, how could I have forgotten that one? That one's literally, like, if you look at my Spotify uh, list of, like, my top songs from, like, 2020, 2019, probably 2021, <laughs> Shooting the Moon is number one on all of them. Like, it always is. <laughs> Shooting the Moon is just so good. I love it. But yeah, that is oh, such a good one. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Definitely best. my favorite Twilight soundtrack. I'd say I think it might be my favorite Twilight movie. Yeah. So... I mean, that definitely helps. I will say the first time I watched it, I didn't really like it. But then we put it on again like a few weeks ago. I still don't like it, but I found it way more yeah, entertaining Caesar. than I did the first time. Like, I don't know in a good or bad way, but I was entertained by it. Like, I thought it, was, it was very fun to watch. Birdie, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think, I, think the, think, I think that'd be better for the show moving yeah, forward. I agree. You have something uh, to say? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> No, she okay. said yes i will chomp <laughs> that is my that is what i have to say <laughs> okay um my number two is blade runner 2049 uh i don't know have either y'all even seen the original or the second one like either of them yeah so even i haven't seen that one again <laughs> i just i will say i mean okay i will say they're not for everyone like they're, i know that like this one especially is like slow and like no. kind of all philosophical and shit. I don't know. I always meant to watch it, it and I explained me. this in the first episode. I didn't watch it because I thought you needed to watch the original first, and I never got around to watching that one either. So I just didn't watch the new one, and that's where I screwed myself over. I will. You I don't did. know if I said this in the yeah. original. Technically, you don't need yeah. to, but I think yeah, you, you would benefit from watching the original. Yes. Okay. Well, definitely from the original as well as this one. It's a very electronic based score. Mm-hmm. I love. Like this sounds yes. like electronic, like Daft Punk. Like that doesn't sound like Daft Punk, but I just like mean like 80s music like that. Almost? I've always really liked. And okay. this sort of yeah. yeah. So that makes Especially sense. Especially the yeah. first one came out in the 80s, so I think that helps. But like, um, but this one it's just like it's very much like a future. I mean, it's 2049. Everything's just very kind of like it's just a different world. Like a lot of like kind of like cyberpunk like kind of influence there, and you kind of hear that in, in the score too. Like it's. Mm but it's also kind of a depressing Those kind of sound. I don't know. It works for the movie. Like, I just, I remember literally, like, the first thing I thought about when it came out of the movie was, like, I really like it, but then I thought about the music for so long mm-hmm. that when I saw it a yeah. second time, I was just like, okay. Like, I love it. And I think that I would say that for some of these movies, too. Like, the music is one of the things that stuck that made me want to go back to it. Yeah, yeah, And it, like, kind of elevated it more. All right. So. That's a good one. That's, that's Blade Runner. But 
I'll just say if y'all watch mm-hmm. and don't like it, that's that's fair. you. All right. But, well, I still want to watch it because I, I do. I do yeah. fully intend to watch it eventually okay. <laughs> one day. All right. Okay. But the title seems like a movie. I, I feel would like you like. would hate it. Actually, <laughs> I haven't I? seen it, but I feel <laughs> like you. Would I, hate I really it, yeah. feel like you would. That's why I'm warning you. <laughs> yeah. I feel like uh, I'm warning you though, I but yeah. That's a good one. Open good mind, one. I guess. And these are now our our number one. I Thanks. So. Yeah, I'm excited We're to talk here. about this one. Uh, Brianna, go ahead and get us started. <laughs> um, okay, I just want to do, while we were talking, I thought of two more just honorable mentions. Oh, yeah. um, mm-hmm. Lady Bird, love that soundtrack. Uh-huh. Uh, or like the score. Um, I cannot name a single song, but that's another one that just when I listen back, I just am like... It feels good. I like, get it. I just yeah. feel good. Um when we were talking about Christina Aguilera burlesque that's another one (laughs) so good just the the cold and crazy world I've seen burlesque oh okay okay. no I have seen it I've I've seen it (laughs) Um, that's like actually one of the few I have seen that you'll talk to that Um, came again I just we did do a Lady Bird Bird episode actually that also reminds me of one I want to add to my honorable mentions list which is Coyote Ugly can't fight the moonlight leanne rhymes yo queen love it so i haven't seen it sound that song incredible incredible all right i will i wrote that down yeah. cool that's and i want to say birdie is named her name is lady bird thank <laughs> you for that um <laughs> she's yeah, like thank you we'll not eat you <laughs> yes she does not like that way <laughs> yes um <laughs> and then no <laughs> um and then teen beach movie i think that's another one that like Never i seen it. we rewatched it again recently and that's another where like i wouldn't put it on like well i don't know yeah. I, I put freaking trolls world tour um i feel like teen beach movie is kind of a little I bit better than that really respectfully it. Um, it that's i think just like the music mm-hmm. is good i feel like it's overlooked past high school musical because high school musical yeah, yeah, is more yeah. of like a nostalgia factor than teen beach movie um, but I, I really enjoy that it's, soundtrack. I think it's like actually yeah. like objectively. That it's also really reminded me of one other thing. So that movie <laughs> Zombies. I'm not a fan of the movie. The songs are kind of okay, but there's a that one song someday from that that soundtrack is like so good, and it does not need to be that good because the movie itself is kind of like really bad. But <laughs> that song is really good. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah, it's a Disney Channel. Is that movie. a Disney Channel movie as well? <laughs> All right, Got Brianna. It. Okay, and now my number one. Okay, um, in case you can't tell, it's freaking Dune. Um, I think that that is the best soundtrack mm-hmm. to have ever been created. Um, I think every single song that is on the soundtrack is just so perfect, and it makes <laughs> me sad. Brady's trying to kill me. Um, <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> like this movie at That's all. Fair. Um, she's like I like Breaking Dawn opinions. better <laughs> yeah but I feel so stupid because when I was younger New Moon was my least favorite Twilight movie um, and now it is my favorite I think I think I like mm-hmm. New Moon more than I like Twilight um, but Me I just want to say like you touched most mm. of the songs there's also Friends the like um that one's so good and then slow life when she's when she's spoilers drowning um mm-hmm. i think that's just a good one and then again like shooting the moon such a good song mm-hmm. another one always on my spotify top 10 such a good song just everything about the soundtrack mm-hmm. for new moon is so perfect <laughs> who um okay go. who's the artist behind shooting the moon go okay <laughs> go go <laughs> <laughs> well, <did> that. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like, because what I remember from New Moon yeah. is just the artists who are on the soundtrack and not the okay. titles of the songs that they sing. Bon Iver. Iver. I don't know. How would we say it? Iver. Is Iver. Is it, no, it Paramore on it, oh. too? She's in the first yeah. one. I don't think oh, she's in the first the, movie. No. Not that I, I'm pretty sure she's hold not. Hold on. Hold on. I will. But, you know. Birdie, please. Uh... Wait, I, I really want to take a quick, quick look because I feel... Oh, soundtrack. Oh, yeah, because everyone really searches that one immediately. Um, yeah. Death Cab uh, for Death Cutie. Cab for, oh, the Killer is Muse. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, you okay. don't. Oh, maybe yeah. I'm thinking more of the first one then. Yeah. Who's on the first one? Oh, Paramore, okay. Lincoln Park. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. No. Robert Pattinson is an artist. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so just like yeah, because you. you can't understand a single word he says. But <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> My number one. All right, Martha. Which I feel Your like is number one. very obvious. Bam slam. <laughs> Adidas. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> oh, I thought we were all wearing merch from Wait, our number one. Okay, my bad. I'm wearing hoser. <laughs> I have nothing. Oh, Adidas. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I said Adidas. Um, no, no well, we are Sorry, by not sponsored. UTSA. UTSA, sponsored by Adidas. Go Runners. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, Band Slam, obviously, because, I mean, it was my number one movie on my top ten list. It's not a great movie. I mean, it's a good movie, but it's not a great movie. And it's purely because of the soundtrack. It's so incredible. I mean, you have great, like, everything I own, the way that they do it with the, the full band, like, the march, like, everything is so good. Rebel Rebel, David Bowie, that is one of my favorite songs of David Bowie. And the song is in here, and that just makes it so much better. Uh, Someone to fall back on, that's such a beautiful song. Ali Machaka, she sings that one really well. It's so many good songs. It, oh, I love it. It's so good. So yeah, you guys gotta watch it. We I mean, I've seen it, but it. I just I don't can't. really have anything to say. <laughs> Again, <laughs> makes sense. Um, I randomly thought of an honorable mention. Not a good movie in the slightest, but I can't believe I forgot how good Ooh. the soundtrack is. Suicide Squad. That's the soundtrack is yes. elite. Yes. Not is it no, used I in the agree. movie very well? No. The, they like butcher the soundtrack in the movie but the soundtrack itself yeah. like separate from the movie is great yeah that's a good one yeah okay um my number one i don't know if there's gonna be any surprise to y'all yeah Probably i figured won't. that much yeah well, that's my number one <laughs> yeah 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 uh not only it's for me it's just both the score and, and like the actual songs are both elite <laughs> Oh, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> yes, Literally yeah. my number one and two are both Ryan Gosling. Like, I, and my number five, too. Like, come on. Um, the songs. Another Day of it's Sun. It's so perfect. The way that opens the movie. Come on, man. Come on. Somewhere in the Crowd. Oh. Beautiful. City of Stars. Oh, oh audition. audition. I, oh. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. And I'm sure I'm thinking... I'm sure there's other ones I'm not so remembering. Great. But, ugh, so good. And when they're singing it's good when it's just the score it's beautiful i mean it's just a pa- and i feel like i'm not a musical guy maybe this works for me because there's not a lot of songs in it but i just feel like all the songs are so perfect for the movie and on their own too like i, I can listen yeah, to these but songs visually the movie if you just, add it like wah wah it's so great oh the visuals Everything on top about of it, it is perfect that, so yeah that, that is definitely, definitely deserving of your number one spot all right that's a good one um Thank i you. actually have a couple yeah. scores to add like just two to what i want to add that like i i've always very okay. much enjoyed these scores um which one is the corpse bride which i believe was composed by danny elfman i'm not 100 mm. percent sure but i think that was him uh, probably yeah that and then the harry potter which too. i am not sure who but i love harry potter yeah. but anytime i he- john williams thank you um, john williams i just i every time i listen to it it's just like oh, it gets me mm. in just like such a happy mood i just i love the it just it, it reminds me so much of the movies and i and i have those so dear to my heart so yeah those are the two scores that i wanted to add definitely another one of yeah, those iconic sure. scores so yeah those are the two scores that for i definitely sure. like are like on the top of my list in terms of like movie scores so yeah so those are our top okay. 10 lists of our movie soundtracks and scores i think yeah. this is a pretty good list i think we came up with like the longest honorable mentions list to ever exist <laughs> So probably many but like there's so many good movies with yeah. music like good many yes. key good takeaway here yeah, is that music. movies and music <laughs> go hand in hand and in a good soundtrack a good score can Definitely. completely s- just change a movie it elevates it it, it makes it so, many, so much better in so many different ways you feel the emotion through music and that's why a lot of these a lot of the songs on my top 10 like movie list are all about music because i just i think I just I love music, <laughs> so yeah. Definitely a lot of music-centered so movies on your list. Yeah. I noticed. Mamma Mia! I forgot <laughs> Mamma Mia. How could we forget? Uh, I don't. Okay, I don't like the movie, don't but that soundtrack. Ever I mean, you can't. It's Abba. Like, come on. Ever, ever. If anyone does, I will come for you. And I'm talking to my brother. I. 
No, did I wasn't talking hear, to you. I was talking to my brother. Did you not hear what I just said? Oh, so, mm, <laughs> oh okay. Actually, I have um, <laughs> Got it. some family from Sweden. And um, he, every, every time he comes down here, Mr. Toby, we love Toby, shout out to him. Uh, the mighty Swede always talks about how much he loves ABBA. And that, like, because ABBA, Sweden, it's like a whole thing. And he always talks. It's, it's really funny to, like, hear her talk about how much he loves them. <laughs> so, yeah. Mamma Mia. Great one. Definitely. Um, <laughs> final question before we wrap this list up. Uh, what are y'all thoughts on, here we go again. Oh, 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 the, oh the yeah, sec- yeah, yeah, Isn't that the, what the second um, Mamma Mia is I, called? I think I prefer the soundtrack to the second one better, but I prefer the movie, like, part one better. Oh, because I've heard people well, like two better, so I'm it, like, I might check it out. I still like, I like the one. second one a whole lot, but I prefer the first one. Yeah. Okay. I think I prefer the first one. The second one, um, spoilers. Um, I did not know that Meryl so Street. Oh yeah. And um, mm-hmm. I was I love Mamma Mia, um, and I was so excited to see it with my family. And then they oh. went and saw it on my birthday without me. <laughs> so then they took me again, and I didn't know that Meryl Street wasn't in it. And then they were like, oh, I miss my mom. And I was like, oh, no. why do you miss her? <laughs> where did she like, go? Where, where is she? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and, like, I probably cried for the first, like, 40 minutes of the movie because I was just losing my mind. I was like, I can't believe they saw it without me. And I can't believe oh, that Meryl Streep didn't buddy. even show up. But you saw it eventually, <laughs> so. But, um, yeah, I saw it. Brady is messing. <laughs> she is having a time. <laughs> She's like, here we go again is better. <laughs> Yeah. She disagrees Pretty with everything you're telling her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Mamma Mia won. Okay. I, had a, I had a way better experience with the first one than I did. Well, maybe, yeah. maybe that would oh, be a fun sure. double feature Let's do to it. do. I'm All down. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, like you said, mm-hmm. that is the end of our list. Top 10 scores and soundtracks. We definitely all had unique lists. So this is really fun to do. Um, before we head off, let's uh, just do a quick okay. rundown of what's next. Um, our next episode. I do Martha, remember, do you remember this the time. Movie? We are going to be watching Gone Girl. That's exciting. Hold yes. on, is this music playing for y'all? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Brianna is going crazy. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so she's she's doing through chaos here, but that's fine. But um, Gone yeah. Girls are moving for next week. Um, I've never we seen it, before, so I'm excited it. to watch it, especially because of like <laughs> you had mentioned earlier. There's a lot of you know news going around about Gap. <laughs> you know what? We'll talk about that in the next episode. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yes, yes, yes. yes. That, yeah. Um, Gone Girl, next episode. It's we'll catch that. Um, so thank you uh, for listening to us, watching us. We're on Spotify, Apple, subscribe to our YouTube. Uh, uh, where else are we? YouTube. Um, YouTube. Anywhere you listen to podcast. Yes. It's- yes. Subscribe to us on there. Like, comment, all that stuff. Follow us on social media. Think. Just remember Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, TikTok. Sorry, Mac Miller started playing on my laptop, so I was having to. A time. I'm literally crying. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what a way um, to end this episode. The I feel most like most chaotic episode we've ever had. <laughs> and it's just this is just the cherry on top. So thank you for sticking through. Yeah. <laughs> thank y'all. If yeah. you, I mean, yeah, thank you for sticking through regardless, but especially through this chaotic this mess. Um anyways. Thank you guys so we'll much for you watching. Yeah, thank you, thank you for having me. coming. Bye. Yeah, thank you for having me on. I, Absolutely, it was an honor. Um, yes, thank you, Birdie, Birdie for your input. Thank you too. She next was, she was mad you're, she you're wasn't totally invited. Right. Yeah, she was definitely so had to come on next time. All right, well, thank you again. Thank yeah, you for but. being on here. All right. Yes. I'm glad we yeah, were able to redeem sure. you. Well, let's let's not you know, say that too soon. So we'll hopefully the all. video came out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that is all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. We'll see you. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs>